Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Comedia Musicale, Waterford High School's Fall Choir Concert. My name is Sydney Thornton, and I am the Waterford Choir's president. Please take a moment to silence any cell phones or paging devices. The selections you will hear tonight are all comedic in nature, some subtle, some not so much. We really hope you enjoy the program. We would like to thank you for supporting music and the arts here in Waterford. Your attendance tonight is greatly appreciated and does not go unnoticed. Now, please join me in welcoming Princi Pianti and our choir director, Mr. Derek Mahan. The following piece is Road Raged, composed by Robert Applebaum. During this song, you'll get to experience the children's point of view of all the torture they go through, through a boring car ride and more. This piece goes out to all the parents. You know who you are. <laughs> Another thing to look forward to are the rounds each part sings, making one chaotic yet beautiful sound. Enjoy.
Our next song is a favorite of mine because it involves the two most important things in my life, loved ones and food. When choosing between the things we love, our decisions might not always come easily. After all, life is full of choices. Some choices are hard and some are easy. But true love always makes the right choice. In the song, Mashed Potato Love Poem, we have to make a choice. You are the ones we love. Will we choose you or will we choose Dear John, Dear John is a song we as a choir find relatable as in one moment loving someone and the next having a deep hatred towards them. The song originates from a magazine that was holding a competition on who could, find, on who could write a sentence that could be interpreted in different ways if you were to move the punctuation. It could I either have the meaning of deep, of deep love or deep-seated hatred. On behalf of the Principianci Choir, I hope this piece will make you laugh your socks off. Thank you. 
for our first selection, Intermezzo will be singing Five Off the Wall by James Fritchell. Mr. Fritchell got the idea of this piece when he was on a road tra trip. As he made pit stops on his trip, he took notice of some of the most profound writings along the way. These five small pieces of Five Off the Wall are exactly that. They are writings right off the wall. We hope you enjoy these wacky little songs. next song goes out to all the ladies out there who met the love of their life. Yup, that's right. I'm talking about that one boy who you met in high school, who you were forever and always destined to be with. This is the story of how a girl met Taylor, Taylor the Latte Boy, who doesn't only bring her java, but also brings her joy. It's about how he makes triple lattes when she asks for doubles, which of course means he loves her how he plans to serenade her with his band down in the village, in the basement of a bar, and how much she loves him. So sit back, listen, and dream a little about your latte boy. There's a boy who works at Starbucks who is very inspirational. He is very inspirational. 
Because of many things, I come in at 8-11, and he smiles and says, How are you? When he smiles and says, How are you? I could swear my heart grows wings. So today at 8-11, I decided I should meet him. I decided I should meet him in a proper formal way. So today at 8-11, as he smiled and said, for you, I said, fine, and my name's Jenna. And he softly answered, and I told him my name's Jenna, and thank you for the extra phone. And he said his name was Taylor, which provides the inspiration for this poem. And I like to get my nerve up and recite my poem musical. He would like the fact it's a musical because he plays guitar. And today at 8 11, Taylor told me he was playing with a band down in the village in the basement of a bar. And he smoothly flipped the lever to prepare my double latte. But for me, he made a triple and he didn't think I knew. But I saw him flip the lever to prepare my double latte. And I knew that triple latte meant that Taylor loved me too. I said, what time are you playing? And thank you for the extra skin. He said, keep the 355 because this triple latte was on him. Hey there, mateys. We all look, love a good pirate chanty, eh? Well, do we have something for you, eh? Uh, Without further ado, Captain.
make me happy. Hey, did someone say coffee? Well, I sure hope you did because it's time for coffee in a cardboard cup. I like this song because it starts out slow and gets fast like you just drunk coffee. Now, without further ado, may I take your order, please? Casual or nonchalant. No one wastes a minute in a restaurant. No one wants a waitress passing pleasantries. Like hiya, miss, hiya, sir. May I take your order, please? The trouble with the world today, it's plain to see. Is everything is hurry up. It's rush it through. Don't be slow. BLT. All right, I'm going Java. Cup of Joe. Espresso. Cappuccino. Black coffee. In a cardboard cup. Tell me what could possibly be true. 
gentleman would march before an afternoon. How you been? Would, would you, you like, like the special, special sir? The trouble in the world today is plain to see. Is everything is hurry up. It's ready with electric shaves. In it right some microwaves and coffee. And things and coffee. Surprise, Wesley, it was just ground this morning. You wake up grumpy in the morning. No, I just bring him some coffee. While the choirs are changing out, I'd like to have Consuela Munoz come on up, please. She's going to say just a few words about our Choir Parents Association. And right now she feels like a salmon swimming upstream. <laughs> I'm not wrong. <laughs> Luckily, I'm so tall that that was easy. So I have to say one thing before I get started with, now I understand why my son asked me to make mashed potatoes this week. <laughs> it's not mashed potato season. Um, so I'm Consuela Munoz, and I'm representing the Choir Parents Association. Just wanted to say a quick word to you all tonight about madrigals. So as many of you know, this year we are celebrating our 35th annual madrigals. Pretty awesome. Yeah, and I know some of, you, some of you might be aware that we had a little bit of concern last year with the future of Madrigals, but I want to thank everybody here because the students and all the parents really stepped up and volunteered to help us, and we really had a great event last year. So thank you very much. I'm the only one clapping. And then... So one of the other things that you all probably know about Madrigals is that trying to get a ticket to Madrigals can be a little bit of a, a strain, right? And that's because they sell out so quickly. So one of the things we want to try this year is a new incentive. And so anyone who signs up and, and comes to work for Madrigals, whether it's set up or during the event or helping us clean up, is going to be eligible to pre-order some tickets so you won't have to wait till that public day of sales. So that's really, yeah, and those are, that would be qualifying for next year. So come help us this year. You can have a chance of getting um, pre-sale next year. So the only other thing I'm going to say is go ahead and stop at the bake sale at the end of the show and enjoy the rest of the show. The duck goes quack. The lamb goes ba. The bee goes buzz. 
the donkey goes, hee-haw. But also, the taxpayer goes, grrr. The raven goes, nevermore. The frog goes, hi ho folks, yay! And the choir director goes, Animals, we cannot even begin to comprehend all of nature's majesty. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, and the flowers are blooming. And you might be thinking, what could be better than this? Life is perfect. Well, we believe we have the answer. That will make you feel so good about yourself. Please enjoy poisoning pigeons in the park. <laughs> Cyanide. The sun shining bright every day. 
ability and cause much anxiety in the Audubon Society with our names. Soldier, Soldier is a beautiful tune about a fair young maiden who swoons over a very needy soldier. The woman is willing to do, or beg her grandfather to buy, just about anything so that he would marry her. But just like many other love stories, this one comes with a silly little twist. piece this evening, I have to say, this last song is a favorite of our choir. Absolutely. With all of the intertwining melodies, as well as the changing dynamics, this song is definitely our favorite piece. Although, you gotta admit it, the guys sing it better than the girls do. What? The girls are considerably better. What are you talking about? The girls can't even compare. Wrong! I'm, I'm right! right. <laughs> we 
we finally reached a compromise. We hope you enjoy the, the argument. argument. And realize that I'm right. Invalidated, mediated, moderated, compromising, settlement 